Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dyson with Death. Hello. Okay, so Halvar is uh, on the shelf. The mm -hmm. Berserker has been deconstructed. Mm -hmm. We chitted the chat, mm -hmm. shared with Neil some top secret uh, alpha classes mm -hmm. uh, that he has rejected and does not want to play. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> They're unready but for no. play anyway. All right. We're going to roll some stats. I'm going to roll 4061, and I want some real fucking stats this time. I'm tired of these shitty pieces of shits. Uh, and I probably should have done this first. I'm going to print a character sheet. <clears throat> Realgoblins.com. 2E character sheet. You don't have a character print. sheet saved on your computer. You have to go to your own website to find a character sheet. No, I got a copy somewhere on my computer, but it's just it's faster to do it off the internet. Um, okay. Character sheet is a print in. Uh, let's get some cyberpunk bar for our character building. Oh yeah, this is character building music. All right. Um. Should okay, we stay so here in the tavern or. Uh... Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll even put the tavern map up for everyone so they can see it. Or I could show you the world map. I know the tavern's perfect because we got the, the tavern music going on. All right. 4061 for stats, yeah? Do it. No 3D6 straight down the line. I, will, I want to play a wizard rogue, so I want decent stats. Actually, would you let me use a point by system? Sure. Sure. <laughs> that looked kind of unhappy. I mean, I don't. By all means, I don't know the point by systems that well. I don't think I've ever used them except in 5e. And um, I, I'm kind of disgusted by you, but by all means, point by. Well, I made a point by system and. Oh, well, so not even it's not even like a tested point by system. It's like a two point. Where, where can I find this? Um, I will. Realgoblins.com slash DM hacks. Realgoblins.com slash toolbox point by, or you can find the link that I just put in Twitch chat or the one that I'm putting in Zoom. Okay, yeah. Or the one that I'm putting in Discord for you. Um, right. Too many so, many. I, I only needed the one link. Sure. <laughs> now you have a bunch. So you would use um, a number of points based on like how good you wanted your character to be. And then you would like input numbers into the, the chart until you reach the number of points and, you know, hopefully the right number of everything. Uh, straightforward mm. point by system, right? Okay. Um, I like, this... I like you've got you know, examples. Yeah. And so this is assuming six stats here. So if I if we're playing with uh, perception, which is seven stats, then it's going to be 60 times seven. It's going to be 420 character points. 420. You did that on purpose, didn't you? I did not. All right. So rolling the points with D500. Um, I'm insane. So I know if I'm going to be, let me, if I'm going to be playing a fighter, no, fighter wizard or a uh, rogue wizard, I'm going to want at least one combat stat to carry me, like a, a dex or a strength or something. Did Probably a dex. Do you want to use my optional vitality agility if you want to start with con Ooh. HP? as another way to make a super character or in addition to yeah i'll do that yeah i'll take that all right so instead of rolling for hp at level one we'll just give you your con sure in hp at level one um and then we can decide if we want to give you dexterity as a c think of a way to make that happen i don't okay. know depends how op you want to be yeah, I just want to see what sort of stats I can make here. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This so is. The way the... I need to. I'm not this. sure if I like that. 
there's no way to get the exact like so you're gonna have points left over is that how it went i'll probably out? i mean there might be you can sometimes get the exact number of points you have or maybe you'll be slightly under slightly over mm -hmm. So right, I need 420 and I'm at 439 now. So I'll turn a 13 into a nine. That brings me to 405, maybe a 12 to a 13, 415. Uh, 424. That's 432. Five, six. That's 432. 426. All right, so what if we do two tens and no thirteens. That's four twelve. Two, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight extra points left over. Oh, I guess I could do two elevens and one ten. That's four twenty points right there. Is this what I want though? Two sixteens, a fifteen, a twelve, two elevens, and a ten. I feel like I'm gonna want a sixteen in decks and int but I don't need this 15. So what if I get like, if I do two 13s and only one 11, two, four, five, six, seven. It's pretty close. Four 13, yeah. Um. So that would be I'm kind of leaning towards the, I was leaning towards the rogue wizard. I think that'd be super cool, but the fighter wizard is also great archetype. Um, I've already played one of those, right? You have Maldress or Frank, wait. Cranky fists, right? Yeah, maybe. No, not Cranky fists, you had, a, you had the punch, you had the muscle wizard. Yeah, that was Cranky Fist, maybe. No. Yeah, he was a punchy wizard, wasn't he? Was yeah. he with someone else? You had the Fist Wizard. There was also, wasn't, have you had two Franks? Because you had one that was like trying to set up some weird crime syndicate in Wodeheim and failed. Um, but then I... there was like the, I really liked the inner, the punching specialist wizard who used like Fist of Stone and mm -hmm. Shock and Grasp and stuff. Uh, I... I don't remember who Mal was. Frank definitely punched people. Mal, I don't remember a, what Mal, Maldris did. was your alter ego. When you became a wizard, you changed your name to Maldris Pulbisari or something stupid. Oh, right, 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 right. You're like, I'm a wizard now. I got to get a new name. Right, right. Okay. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna be a half elf or something so that you can multi class. Yeah. I guess I this will kind of set the tone for the campaign as whether I am the fighter or the rogue. I kind of want to do a rogue wizard. That seems like more yeah. fun. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to try and use your new thief rebuild or by the books rogue? Um, um I'm flexible. Whatever. It's your character. I guess we did. We, the Fist Wizard never... Did he ever die? Did he just retire? Uh, I don't know. I, think he might, I can't remember what happened to him. Uh, I think he might think be he an died. enforcer. I think he might be an enforcer for the... For the uh, goldsmiths, but... I'm not sure. Alright, so let's use the, uh, the Thief rebuild. Let's use okay. the regular wizard rules. And we'll just do this. And my stats are... Let me go get my character sheet. And I'll fill in some stats and we'll talk. Cool. Yeah, we did retire Cranky Fists. Fought off the assassins. And then maybe he fled, maybe he escaped. Um, so where are we gonna set up this new character? I'll ask Neil, but Okay, so uh, I will be a half elf, okay. so that there will be no stat adjustments. So I'm gonna do um, 16 dex. It's not 16 will. 16 int. Um, 13 strength. 13 perception. 
12 charisma, 10 con, 11 will. I think that's good. Cool, cool. Um, right. Race is half elf, half human. Um, where do you want to be? Well, I think my goal As is to, I want to like work with some NPCs uh, instead of being the bad guy. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe start in solstice, yeah. doing some could... sort of like hired on to do something for the Sunblade or Moonblade or whatever. Would you like to be a Knight of Solstice? Ooh, I would love to be a Knight of Solstice. Okay. They, are, they are half elven, typically multi-classed. Yeah. In fact, I mean, the Moonblade was a uh, um, mage thief. Then uh, perhaps you're his replacement or something. Perfect. I'm going to roll a d6 for my sex. One, two, three is female. Four, five, six is male. Three, I am a woman. Who can really tell with elves, though? They're Gender all Gender non-conforming. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And the uh, Knights of Solstice typically are masked. Perfect. But... Okay, I... We've had, we've had female characters. I think dicing with death gender usually doesn't play a role. Yeah, we're, murder, really. we're murder hobos first and foremost. Yeah. I'm going to be 4'8", 88 pounds, according to my randomizer. God, Neil, all, your randomizer is anorexic. You're four, four, I'm a half oh, elf. Oh, actually, hold on. That was a full elf that I rolled. Here we go. 5'4", 125 pounds for my half elf female. That's right, spot that's, on. That's fairly reasonable. Yeah, but the half elf does make things more slender. Five, four, one was Moonblade weak in combat? I think Moonblade was fine. I think I rolled him 3d6 for his stats, so they weren't great. Uh, he was okay. He got he just got betrayed. He was like fighting lizard men and Neil at the same time. Yeah. Uh, right-handed. I don't think you'll be tasked with finding out what happened in the Moonblade. I think they know what happened in the Moonblade. Although he was kind of operating outside of... I don't know. He went rogue. Uh, huh. I'll be a... Maybe 30... you find out what's going on in Wodeheim. <laughs> Whoa. Or we'll see. Uh, let's see. Strength is 13. I'm just going to fill in my stat stuff real quick here. Um, and we are going to be a thief wizard. So I can carry 45 pounds. Max press is 140. Open doors is a 7. Ben bars is a 4. 1 and 2 here. Nothing. 70. Seven, five, nothing, nothing. So how super do you want to be? If wanna... we use my, if we use my optional, what's your constitution? Is it... 10. 10. Okay, so we use my optional rules, you'd have 10 HP. Otherwise which, it's D6. Otherwise you'd roll, it'd be D6, D6 plus, D6 plus D4, divide, or D6 plus D8 divided yeah. by two, or... Yeah, so that's an average of four HP uh, mm -hmm. versus 10. So I'll, I'll take the 10 HP to start. And then for your AC, do you want to use by the by the books AC, or should we take your dex as your AC? Uh, let's do by the book because I think one of the fun things about multiclassing wizard rogue is using magic for like defensive things. And my yeah. dex is sixteen, so I think it would be a little a little. It might broken. even be higher. It might even be super dex. It might even be like take sixteen and then add two. Yeah. So eighteen AC. That seems a little seems high for a first level was, character. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll do. 10 so HP. You'll just have, yeah. So you'll have two bonus. So you'll have 12 for having 16 decks. Mm -hmm. 16, 15. Oh, but wizards might have better saves. You could uh, take armor. If you've only got one spell, you could throw on leather for an extra few AC. Yeah. 
Oh, leather armor, but then I can't cast spells in leather armor. But you only at level one, you only have one spell. That's true. What if my level one spell is the armor spell? Fair choice. <laughs> Are you thinking so of being a specialist? Can a specialist multi-class? I don't think so. Um, tweak some things. Armor does. Let's fill in my encumbrance here. Five, sixty-nine, ninety-three, seventeen, one forty. Armor lasts until damage is taken. Nice. until eight plus one per level, so nine. So basically you'd have armor for your entire life. Until I take nine damage? Yeah. Okay. What's the AC bonus of armor? Plus four. Ooh. So you'd have 16 AC. Okay, let me do my thiefy stats. Um, so, got Gage, which is still on this page because I don't know what else to do with it. I don't really like it, but it feels a niche that needs to be filled. Forgery, Skies, I'm Use Rock, Hide. Silently. Locks. Pockets. I'm really looking forward to the invisibility assassinate combo. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. All right, so pickpockets will start at a five. Pick locks will start at an eight. Move silently starts at an eight. Hide is dex plus perception divided by three. Uh, that's 29 divided by three is nine. Eavesdrop is half of perception, so that's going to be six. Climb is strength plus dex divided by two, which is also gonna be nine. Disguise is straight charisma, so a 12. Forgery is half of dex, so that's an eight. Engage is two thirds of perception because Neil hates the world. Uh, two thirds of 13 is eight, I believe. And then I get to apply up to 12 points with no more than six to any one skill. See, Zwat, not Zwat, I heard Grimes has maxed out climbing, so I want to explore other things. Yeah. Um, I want to explore... That's a toss a few points into climbing. Yeah, I definitely don't want it to be too low. Um, I'm going to put... Sneaking and hiding, probably, right? Grimes also entirely skipped pickpocketing, and he entirely skipped forgery. Yeah, you wouldn't need those things in... Zonia. Um, hmm. I think, actually, I want to put a bunch of points into Disguise. I want to put a, I, we never really use Disguises. Oh, yeah. And I'm just going to as well. give it a shot. So I'm going to put plus six into Disguise. That'll bring it to 18. So I'll be like an infiltrator then, I guess. And then I'm going to split my remaining six up. I'll put one in hide, bringing it to ten. Two into pick locks, bringing it to ten. Giving me three points left, which I will put one into climb and two into move silently, so they'll all be at tens. Uh, pick locks right. has some cutoffs. Right. You may want to check. Is ten the cutoff or is it eleven? Uh, it was eight. It was eight. 
So five is for common lock. Uh, eight is an old or damaged lock. Ten is a good lock. Fifteen is an excellent. Twenty is a superb. Okay. So I'm at the. I can pick a good lock if I have like an hour to do it. Um. And I can pick a common lock if I've got D10 minutes to do it. Cool. And then I think it's proficiencies, spells, and gear. And I'm going to change the track because I'm tired of the cyberpunk bar. I don't know about you. I'd like to wrap up in a couple of minutes, but can... 10 yeah. minutes or so. I can, I can go quickly. Um... Fine. You'll probably work on this off stream over the next week or whatever. Yeah. On stream over the next week. So I will take literacy. I'm going to take rope use. I'm going to take swimming. Um. I'm going to take etiquette. Is there a disguise proficiency? I think I scrapped it. Yeah, I scrapped it. Rolled in uh, with the rogue. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna take bureaucracy. <laughs> oh yeah, guys. That's great. Roll some bureaucracy checks and I'll drop some Knights of Solstice lore. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it be great if you could just make a proficiency check to skip any bureaucracy in your life? <laughs> uh, I just succeed. I get it. I don't have to worry about actually getting to the DMV. It's fine. Um, let's see. I have five extra proficiencies from my int. So I've got all five from there. So I get four more. What are some useful but underutilized skills? I'm going to definitely take jumping. Spellcraft. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Alchemy. Nah. I want things that will help me in my day-to-day, -day, like, walking around towns and chatting with people. Keeping it chill. I'm going to take singing. I think that'll help my disguise. Uh, is spellcraft. Oh, spellcraft is two points. That will fill me up. That's, that's new. Oh, bureaucracy is two points. Of course it is. You you made the system. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. All right, that is all my proficiencies. For my gear, I'll have to roll for money, but I think I'm just going to buy leather armor. Or are and... you going to use the armor spell? No, I'll get leather armor. I mean, I might get the armor spell too, but I'll want some leather armor on hand. Leather armor, a dagger. And I think that's all that I need to start. If I'm going to be starting in a town, I'll just buy equipment as I need it. Seems fair enough. Um, so let me roll for cash. What do rogues roll? 1d6 plus 1 times 10? Is that right? 60 gold. 600 buckaroos. Starting uh, money. No, it's 2d6. Okay. Let me roll 2d6 so plus 5. Wizard, hey! Wizard is D4 plus. Okay. So. No, wait, what the heck? Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah. Still 60. Mm hmm. So. Let's see. Dagger. 300 and leather. Is, oh, I got 6,000 buckaroos. And I need to spend 1,300 on. Um, ash on a uh, armor and weapon. Maybe two daggers. So that's sixteen hundred. 
minus from 6,000, so that should bring me to 4,400. So that's 44 gold. Uh, and I guess I'll have a purse on me as well. And armor. Weighs 15 pounds. So I have armor, proficiencies, skills, stats, HP. I guess the only thing I need is spells and character description, and I think that's something I should do offline. Oh, and languages. Uh, what sort of language, what languages do they speak here? Is it just, do we call it common? Uh, it's a cosmopolitan city. Oh, cosmopolitan wait. city? Yeah. Solstice? Yes, I've just never heard I someone guess. refer to it like that. I mean, there's elves, there's dwarves, mm -hmm. gnomes, maybe a few halflings. I don't know if you've seen any. I mean, you're half elf. You probably speak elven. Yep, yeah, that's a good idea. Common, elven. Uh, are halflings or dwarves more common? Uh, dwarves. Grab some dwarven then. Cool. I'm only going to start with three out of five. Uh, yeah. No, thieves can't. Maybe, can I start with all five languages? If you can come up with languages to fill them with. Halfling. And a fifth language. A, what's a common enemy type? Are goblins common around Solstice? Uh... There's orcs. goblins, there's ogres, there's no orcs, I don't think, other than Halvar. Um, and I'll go goblin. Yeah. Score. Okay, uh, how many spells ought I start you got, with? Do you have gnomish? Or... I do not. I feel like gnomes are probably more common than halflings, but maybe not. Then I will take gnomish instead of halfling. Or at least they're more learned. Like, as a wizard, it might be more useful to have... It's true. Amish, but this may just be wind up like me telling you to take the leather working proficiency. Right. Oh, I'll take Namish anyway. Um, should I just pick five spells? I'll find. Uh, I think you should roll for them. You can pick five spells to have in your spell book. Where'd you come up with five? Is that just arbitrary? Arbitrary. I think that's yeah, I what know. I usually give out. Yeah, seems fair. Maybe pick five to have in a spell book and have to roll to see which ones you've learned. That sounds great. Um, I don't think I would forbid any first level spells. They're probably pretty. Okay. I don't well, think then, there's any that are broken or OP. I will have yeah. spells for you next week then. Yeah. We uh, so we don't have that. to watch my the top of my head as I look in a book. Yeah. Will you? That'll round us out for Dustin with Death, then. Yeah. yeah. Do you need to come up with a name? You're doing that off stream? Oh, Think about it. I'll wait to do it off stream. I'll probably dig around in some old come literature. Back with something like uh... Dave. Dave. Dave the Lady Elf. Dave the Lady. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dave the Lady Elf. This is what that disguise proficiency is for. Right. Disguise skill. Right. Okay. Uh, that'll wrap us up. Ryan, do you have any announcements to make for people or places or things? I don't think so. Thanks for watching. That's it. Uh, we'll see y'all next week. I think so. Might be busy next Wednesday. We'll be we flexible. Try and find another day or, yeah, we'll see. Empires of Arcadia is tonight, 6 o'clock Pacific Time, 7 o'clock Mountain Time, which nobody in the world uses because it's a piece of shit time zone. Um, the... 9 Eastern. Yeah. So that's like countdown Eastern Central. Uh, if you're watching this live, that's like three hours and 45 minutes from right now. That's correct. So I'll see you guys for that, and you'll see Ryan sometime next week. We will have a Hardcore Heroes next Sunday. This Desperate Sunday. Measures on this Sunday, this upcoming Sunday, the 20th. We'll have a Desperate Measures on the same day. We'll have Dyson Men one hour early tomorrow. We'll have shenanigans on Saturday, like always. And Critical Feedback on Friday, although we might be pushing Critical Feedback a little early. 
Uh, no, that's not this week. That's another week. Yep, don't worry about it. That's it. We're out. Goodbye, everybody. Peace.